Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment, mother T. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and talk about the situation with Lil Boosie. He's currently trending right now. Um, so what's going down is that one of his daughters is calling him out for his behavior and for the way that he's been speaking on her. And no, it's not the one daughter that be literally cussing him out like a stranger on the street. It is not Toriana Hatch. She's usually the one that goes off. Remember last year when he took her car and she went in on Boosie? This is Toriana right here. I'm a death penalty. Should have stayed on there. That's how I'm feeling. And, and I don't I take it back. Your dad is supposed to be there for you when your mom ain't. Right. Let's go. Right. But guess what? He was never there mentally. Never. Never, 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 never. Girl, I, I need to get out my home. And, then, and then don't bring up my siblings and nothing. Talk about some oh yeah was mad too. My siblings wasn't that mad about nothing. Ain't nobody come text you about nothing. Said nothing. Stop trying to fake throw a crowd for Who wanna start mess between? Baby mama, she done hit me with the child support. Whole dirty ass bitch about the line coat. Cut off my daughter for life. You ungrateful. Girl called me a bitch ass man. I'm glad I don't gotta call nigga my dad no more. He's a bitch. Like for real. All right, so you guys just saw that snippet. Well, the daughter that's actually very upset with Boosie is um, Iviana, a.k.a. Poison Ivy. Uh, she's a rapper, and she's like the sweetest young girl. She really is. That is his lesbian stud daughter. And, you know, she literally keeps to herself, kicks it with her girlfriend, raps in the studio, and minds her business. You know, she, she doesn't really too much bother him or anybody. And so Boosie went on to the Carisha Please podcast. And so for whatever reason, Madam Carisha decided to bring up his daughter's sexuality, which is very rich coming from Carisha. And if you guys don't know, Carisha is the same hood rat who said that she would beat her son if her son came out as gay. And she doubled down on it for years. And then eventually once, you know, the money wasn't money. And then she tried to come back like, oh, hey, gay people, I got some T-shirts for sale. Carisha's a bird. I keep telling y'all this. Which I love to ignore that and make excuses for Madam Carisha. Anyway, she starts asking Boosie about his daughter. And Boosie said, you know, he, he loves his daughter. She can come over, but she can't bring the girlfriend because she don't want um, the daughter contaminating the rest of the children because he has younger kids. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this video here really quick. So when your daughter came out and told you she was gay, it was nothing. I mean, she still can't bring her situation to our house my daughter is grown well why is she grown because i don't want it to contaminate her other it's a, it's a generation we raised i don't want her kids to get to contaminate to her, her other six seven sisters who look up to her i want them to bring me grandchildren the right way if i want grandchildren the right way that's what i'm gonna stand on you know if i don't want my other little girl to look at that and say, what's that, daddy? To somebody oh, she looks up to, <laughs> it's not going to come around. My grandpa didn't let it. My daddy didn't let it. And I didn't let it. I just hope the one under me, when they take this wrong, they don't let it. Because that's not what our family believes in. Like you say, we Southern Baptists. You know, I love my, me and my daughter relationship like this. But when she understands everything, she know daddy don't go, she know. But that's what she chooses to do. But she know we don't go, we, we, we don't go for that. Right, so you guys just saw that video and you guys could hear people in the background like literally shocked by what Boosie was saying. And so at this point, this was the final straw for Ivy. She was like, you know what? I, I gotta get this off my chest. I gotta talk to my father. And um. She dropped a 12-minute video. A lot of people are refusing to watch it. They're saying it's too long. I watched the full video, and um, I'm so proud of her. 
She's so articulate. She expressed herself. She wasn't cussing him out. She didn't throw a tantrum like her other sister. And you can tell that she is so hurt. Like her and Boosie, like she's like the oldest daughter. They were very close. I mean, there's so many pictures of them when they were younger. You know, when she has on her dresses and she's with her dad. Okay, she chose a different lifestyle. It is what it is. But you can tell she longs for that connection with her father. And the things that Boosie says, which I didn't realize, is also affecting her rap career. It's also making it where she's losing opportunities because of the things that he's saying, it's affecting her as well. So the whole situation is really sad. I want y'all to go ahead and listen to her video. Man, I really don't even know where to start for real because this ain't even my character. I don't really be getting on here and giving y'all what y'all want. But I feel like my daddy want me to give y'all what y'all want and he want me to give him what he want as well. Okay, so he always speaking on my sexuality. The whole world know that. Um, and it it been about two years now that I I be quiet. I keep quiet on the shit. I wouldn't say nothing. You know, I just go with the flow. I did everything in my power to understand that this is my father, regardless. Like, I'm going to accept him and love him for who he is. So, I just seen he recently did an interview with Carisha, and he used the word contaminating. And putting my siblings in it with that. If you know me, this shit make me so mad. If you know me, I love and respect my siblings with everything in me. And they respect me and love me with everything in them. When you getting on their nerves, I'm who they call. My siblings, most of my siblings, teenagers. Teenagers you don't want to let grow up. But okay. Another thing. You keep speaking on me gay. You keep keep doing interviews and I don't say nothing, right? The first ever interview you did, you said, you found out I was gay. That I like girls and I had a girlfriend. From a picture that went viral. That was a lie. I let that slide. I never addressed it. You found out I was gay a year before that. The incident happened in Jamaica when I was a gay B word. When you called me a gay B word. So if the world really knew all the things and the hurtful things you told me before. And I forgave you. You wouldn't even understand. And no matter how you feel. At the end of the day, nigga, I'm your blood. I am your daughter. And me, I feel like I didn't been through the most with you. And every time I turn around, it's like you bash me. It's like you bash me. And it's like the whole world can go against you, but I haven't won. Since I've been a little girl, I never would go against you. And I think I'm really fed up. And you get to talking about God. Like, I don't know my God. He talking about God and how I grew up. 
I know my God from Nita, from my mama. My mama sent me scriptures every morning. My mama put me in the church home. I don't recall not one time I'm ever getting up with you and you taking me to to the Lord's house. I don't I don't never recall it. I didn't I didn't learn that from you. I learned to hustle from you. I learned to not let nobody play with me from you. Even if it's you. You get what I'm saying? And it's and it's crazy because I never downplayed you. I never said you was a bad father because you not. You going to make sure your kids straight. You always going to do that. But emotionally, mentally, you suck. You suck, bro. And I know you suck with that because you rather go to the internet and have a conversation with the internet about your kids before you come to us and have that conversation. He done did about six, seven interviews about me being gay, right? We ain't not never have, he never not have one sit down with me, myself, just him and Aviana, and ask me, why you became that way, fat? What what triggered you? What, he is, it, it never been that. Every answer, every question y'all asking him, and he giving y'all them answers. If I go ask him that, he wouldn't give me an answer. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't, he don't. The things that he do, bro. I would have never thought he would do. And it's like, I came to the point to where. Yesterday, it just really did it to me because I'm like, bro, I would not, I would always not say something because I would feel like I'm not finna get on here and disrespect my pops. I'm not finna get on here and go against the green and go against my daddy. Nobody finna make me do that. But it's like you making me do that. They not even making me do that. You making me do that, nigga, because you steady speaking on me. You steady like, I will respect if you, if you just say, just one time, just say, my daughter know how I feel about that. Can we move on to the next question? I can never get that from you. If y'all go look at my interviews, y'all will see. Anytime they try to make it like, my daddy don't fuck with me, or he this and that, I say he love me regardless. This my pops. I ain't going against him. Y'all ain't going to turn me against him. I always stood on it. And it's like, I feel like you just don't be caring. You just don't care about my feelings no more. You just don't care about my heart. Because you're entitled to feel how you feel. You're entitled to your own opinion. Everybody is. Everybody is. And then another thing, I take a lot of backlash from you. I take a lot of backlash from you, Pops. Like, like, a lot of people be scared to work with me. A lot of people don't want to work with me. A lot of opportunities a lot of op opportunities have been missed because you are my father. But that's something I can't change. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go around like, I don't fuck with that nigga anyway because he don't fuck with me. I don't do that just so I can get on. You know what I'm saying? And with this music shit, if you broadcast my music the way you broadcast me being gay, maybe I'll be further than what I am. But you so worried about me being gay, you can't even see my, my true talent. The world always talking about, I know your dad is so proud of you. He should be so proud of you and all that. Man, I don't remember the last time he told me that. I don't remember the last time I got that from him. And I'm always grateful. It don't matter what he gives me. It don't matter. And I barely even ask him for something. That's why I want, him, want, want my own so bad. That's why I'm hosting the debut. That's why I'm trying to do little features. That's why I'm doing little interviews, because I want my own. I want my own, and he know that. He know that, bro. Like, that don't make no sense. I pay for most of my videos. I pay for most of this. You're not doing nothing. You're not supporting me like you should, and I don't hold that against you. I don't hold that against you. I still love you. I still don't downplay you, talk about you. But... 
I'm tired of sparing. I'm tired of sparing and I'm tired of just feeling like I'm just letting you play with me because you my pops. I'm tired of feeling like that. And I love you regardless. I'm always going to love you. But there's no way I'm going to keep letting you speak on me and I'm not going to speak on you. There's no way I can't do that. And for the people that, that do support me and do know Ivy, I appreciate you. With everything in my heart, I appreciate y'all for allowing me to just be myself, express myself, express myself through these through this music, through YouTube channels, anything I want to do. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? And it's fucked up because the haters, like, that's something I can be used to. Like, they don't know me. They, they, they can comment on my life and do what they want. That's something that I can't let get me upset. You, though, you, though, like, you know me. You my daddy. You don't you 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 don't continue to to down me. You don't do that. You don't do that, especially if I ain't never do do it to you. I ain't never done that to you. It's certain things that the world would never know that I'll take to my grave for you, and you know that. You know that. It's certain things that I know, certain conversations that you done told me, certain hurtful words you done told me that that half of the people that still respect you wouldn't even respect you. And you know this. You know this, bro, but I'm really kind of disappointed that I had to come on here and do this, and and I let it get to me like this. But, bro, I feel like this is the only way I can feel better. And y'all probably say, why you don't call him? Why you don't go to him? Why he don't call me and come to me? Why he don't do me that? So... With that being said, that'll be my last time speaking on it. As long as it's his last time speaking on it. And it probably won't be. I'll just put this. I I, I use my music to vent. And if y'all would have been listening, y'all would have been hearing little things in my music. Because that's what I use to vent. That's what I use to cope. So in October, I drop a new project. Y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me and join YouTube channel. I have enjoyed it. And I pray that everybody just keep being them. Be you. Because you, you. And at, at the end of the day, everybody is human. You human, I'm human, and he human too, if he don't know it. So, yeah. Damn, I'm back on the contaminating, because why would you even say that? Like, like, you make it sound like I'm, like, ill or something. Like, nigga, what? Like, contaminating. If anything, you're contaminating. How about that? You got a whole song about two girls kissing in the back seat. You've been, you've been performing it since I was about three, four years old. So what you talking about? You still perform it on stage now. If that ain't contaminating, then what is? All right, so you guys just watched that full video. And, you know, again, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be fair and see both parts, right? Because I'm a parent, and again, parenting does not come with a handbook. And I get that, you know, Boosie's first choice would be, you know, he wants his kids to be straight, right? But that's not the issue here. She's not straight. She's been out for a few years and she's literally crying for her father. The thing that bothers me is that he wants to say that she may contaminate the other children. And that's an old school mentality where a lot of people back in the day would say, okay, fine, you want to be gay? Be gay over there. Don't bring that gay stuff into my household. You can go do what you want to do at your place, you know, in your gay bars, in your gay house. But when you come here, you act like a straight man. You act like a straight woman, especially in front of the children. The children should have no idea that you're effeminate or you're overly masculine. That's how a lot of people ran their homes back in the day. So I believe that is Boosie's mentality. Like, okay, fine, she's gay. That's my daughter. But you're not bringing that gay stuff here because I have younger children. And younger children are like sponges. And what they see may be a reflection of the reality, right? They may end up turning into that or, or thinking like, oh, okay, well, you know, a guy and a guy or a girl and a girl. This is, what I'm, this is how that mentality goes, right? I could even respect that to a point. If Boosie wasn't who he was, if he was some staunch Christian, you know what I'm saying, conservative, and you know, God made Adam and Eve and that's it, there's no Adam and Steve or Eve and Becky, 
I can I can even respect that. But Boosie, you can't be sitting here in your rap songs talking about three sons with two women, girls kissing on girls. You you sitting here hiring sex workers to take your son's virginity. You sir are a sexual deviant yourself. Okay, and I think part of the, the issue that Boosie has with this sweet girl is he feels guilty because the things that he has rapped about, the things that he has normalized in his music have not manifested in his own daughter. This is a man who loves talking about lesbian girl on girl stuff. So now when the chickens have come home to roost in his own household where his daughter is now following suit. She's a lesbian. She likes girl on girl. Now it's an issue. So it's okay for you to plant those seeds and, and quote unquote contaminate everybody else's household, right? Because you know, people are listening to the music. They're playing the music in front of their children. So it's okay to put that message in your music for other people's children to consume. But when it comes to your own household, that's where you draw the line. Sir, you are full of shit. You are full of shit. What I see when I see Ivy, I don't see her sexuality. I could care less about her sexuality. I see a young girl who's articulate, who's sweet, who's not in trouble, who minds her business, who's grateful, who's humble. And even when she was coming at you, she came at you with all due respect. She didn't cuss you out like your other daughter, the straight one, the one who likes dick that you called a hoe. She cussed you out like a stranger. The lesbian one that you keep chastising and don't want in your home actually showed you respect, showed you this, the respect that you really don't deserve. Because you put a lot of bullshit out there, and then when the bullshit comes back to you, it's an issue. I just, I, I hate that for her, because like I said, Ivy is so sweet. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy her music. She's very talented. And I always wonder why he doesn't really do stuff with her or jump on her tracks or really promote her. So I guess his homophobia is really deep. You know, he, he doesn't like it in his family. But yet he has no problem participating in it. Very strange. Just like with Carisha, the fact that Carisha would even bring up his daughter is insulting. How about you tend to your children and stop bringing up other people's kids? She's been with her girlfriend for about a year, year and a half. I'm glad she has a strong support system because what he's doing to her and the fact that he keeps speaking on her and not talking to her and having conversations with her about her sexuality is insulting. And I understand why she's hurt. But baby girl... Know that this is not the end of your story. This too shall pass. And I think with you being honest and talking to the public, I think more people are going to get to know you and see you more. And I hope that your music career flourishes and you get everything that you desire in life and let your daddy stew in his ignorance. That's on him. So with that being said, T-Sippers, I want to know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Ivy and Boosie and their drama and their back and forth. Let me know what you guys think about this. Do you guys agree with what Boosie said, him wanting to keep her away because he doesn't want his other children contaminated? Or do you feel like Boosie's a hypocrite because he himself loves a good freak off, just like Carisha? So go ahead, leave a comment. Make sure you guys share this video, like the video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuce. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.